All right, what is going on guys? Finally gonna be changing the headlights on the Ram 1500 Classic 2022. Uh, pretty easy to do. There's a lot of steps, but overall it's it's pretty simple to do. So this, the headlights need to be removed in order to change the bulb on the Ram 1500. Now there's two ways to do it. One way is you could just remove the headlight assembly or the other way is you have to remove the grill to remove the headlight. I'm going to remove the grill to remove the headlight because I've tried this before with not removing the grill. It will probably take you the same amount of time, maybe if not five more minutes to remove the grill and then change the headlight. And the reason is because there's a screw deep down over there and yeah, you could use an extension, you can remove it, but when it's time to put it back in and line everything up, sometimes it becomes a hassle. But like I said, taking the grill off is just an extra step. It's not going to be hard. The first thing we're going to need to do is remove this clip this clip over here this clip over here and this clip over here and then we basically can move this around so we can access all the bolts screws whatever we have to to remove the grill for me it's easy enough just to pull on it and it comes out like that I don't need to use any tool or anything same thing on the other side give it a yank there we go that came on nice same thing for this side. So you're gonna grab it from here. If you have the tool for the clips, go ahead and remove that. Don't make it hard on yourself. But this is easy for me, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Here we go. I won't be removing this clip and this clip because if I move this, I have more than enough room to remove that screw there, and this screw here this screw and then this screw so pretty easy not complicated and also when you remove this or move this up it might open this just make sure you close it after or leave it because it might come off a couple times and then just make sure to push it back in properly after that this is your coolant tank all right nothing crazy here now we just have a few 10 mils we need to remove one's going to be on this side here it's going to be one over here one over here and one over here total of four screws on top of the grill that we need to remove all right so we got the four screws out over there one from here one from here one from here and then one from this corner what we could do is we could pull the grill out now so it's the rest is held on by clips you want to yank but you also want to be really careful because it is a little fragile and for those of you that have a new grill this would be the right time to change the grill so we're going to start with one end give it a little pull come over here give it a little pull and then try to get your fingers in here or around here would actually be better give it a little pull and then be careful make sure you don't drop it I'm trying my best to show you guys how to do this while holding the camera. I don't have a camera guy right now. So I'm just going to give a little pull over here too. Well, I mean, you guys get the point. So there's another clip over here. I just don't want to drop my grill. Now the grill is off. I'm going to put this on the grass over here because I don't want my grill to get scratched. Ram 1500. Anyway, so a couple screws you gotta remove for both headlights nothing at the top we got one over here one over here same thing for this highlight one over here one over here and then there's gonna be a white clip that i probably can't show you guys because it's gonna be dark so there's a little housing thing over here there's a clip at the bottom i'm gonna take out the clip and you can pull the housing and then inside there's a white tab which you have to unlock once you unlock that white tab the headlight becomes loose and you could pull it out okay, here's a closer look this is going to be the clip that's by the fender like the clip you have to remove in order to open that little pocket where the tab is the white tab this is going to be locked inside pushed all the way like so what you want to do is you stick a flathead screwdriver with that little mark is over there and what you could do is you could take this out when you take this out it should it should be like that and it'll unlock the pin and then you can pull it out and open that little pocket sometimes it'll come out completely that's fine too you can still unlock it but in order to lock it just make sure you insert this back 
And when you push it all the way into the pocket, it will lock. Super easy to do. So once you reach into this pocket, the uh, white tab is going to be right behind the headlight. What you want to do is push it up, it'll unlock. Yeah, it's right there, that white tab. And now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the headlight. So the bolts are out, everything is out. I'm going to try to get a good angle for you guys. I'm just going to play with it. Headlight assembly out. So this is the headlight housing. If you need to change any bulbs, go ahead and do that right now. Headlight bulb will be right here. So turn this counterclockwise. Open this. This is very easy. Inside, you just want to unplug the harness, lift the top up, pull out, harness will unplug. The bulb is here, turn it counterclockwise, the bulb will come out. Okay, now put the bulb somewhere safe just in case you need to use it again. But right now, we're going to get our other bulb. That's my original bulb. This is the LED bulb I'm getting. So what I searched for on Amazon was H11 LED bulb. And the reason why I chose this bulb is because it's the closest to the bulb that's in the RAM housing. It's the same size, so when I go put in the housing, I won't have any fitment issues. Because even though it's an H11, sometimes when you go aftermarket, the bulb will be a little bigger, so it might be harder to fit. This looks the same. I think it'll fit easy too. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in, make sure it works. I would prefer this bulb with a little fan on it for cooling, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out anyways. It should be fine. So all I'm trying to say is if you're looking for a bulb, make sure it's something similar size so it could actually fit in the housing for the RAM. I've worked on some cars where you order the bulb, even though it says H11 or H4 or whatever it is, and then you go to put in the car, it's too big or you can't get the wiring. And then it's just hard to make it work. This is straight plug and play. There's no harness or anything we have to attach the bulb to it. Straight plug and play. We're going to put the headlight bulb in the housing. Turn it clockwise. It should lock in place exactly the way the other one was. Now we're going to go ahead, plug in the harness. And then we're going to test it out, make sure it actually works. So remember guys, each 11 bulb. Now before I close anything up, I'm going to test it out. Okay. That is working and that looks deadly and that is bright. Much brighter than the original bulb here. Okay, we're gonna put this cover back too for the for the headlight. Turn it clockwise. Turn it until it locks. It's locked over there. Now we're just gonna put the headlight back. Okay. In order to put the headlight back, just push it in, make sure it lines up with all the tabs, and then we're just gonna push it in. Okay, so now I hand tie in all these screws and I'm going to go ahead and lock up the uh, LA assembly with the tab from the back. Alright, now we're going to close this little pocket here that I was talking about. And in order to do that, probably can't even see. But uh, we got our little pin here, or whatever it's called, a little clip. We're going to insert it back in. insert it in and then push the clip just to lock it in there we go that's locked up now lined up nice the way i wanted it this side is done now we're gonna go ahead and do this side i'll show you guys how to do this side too like i said same thing remove this screw i've already removed that screw and then we go in here same thing we have to remove the little uh little clip and this time i'll show you guys on this side even though you probably can't see much so I'm gonna stick the little screwdriver in there, open it up. Flathead screwdriver, open the clip up. Pull it with my fingers the rest of the way to unlock it. And pull, and pull it out completely, like that. Put it somewhere so it doesn't get erect. And then this thing, I'll just fold it up a bit, put it over here shouldn't hurt it but just don't do it too many times yeah it's right there that white top my hand in here and then just open the uh unlock the little top if you stick it all the way your hand and there should be a white tab in there unlock it 
So I pushed up to unlock it. All right, same thing. We're gonna go ahead and pull this housing out. So pull from here, a little bit of wiggling from here, and it should pop out, no problem. Also, I find I found a little uh, locking tab for you guys. Check it out. So, see, see my finger from here? You could access the locking tab. Right here, like that. Super easy. Here we go. Just wanted to show that to you guys. And now what we're gonna do is just do the same thing for this side. This is where the headlight bulb is gonna be. Turn it counterclockwise to unlock. Put this somewhere else. Here is our headlight bulb. Lift the harness. Turn it counterclockwise. Take that out. Put that over there. Grab our other bulb. And then grab the other bulb. Put it in here. Turn it clockwise and it'll lock into place. So remember the way the bulb goes is this part should be facing the bottom of the headlight. And then we can go ahead plug the harness in. And that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and test it out. So this is the top of the headlight. And this would be the bottom. That's what I said. Where the wire plugs in should be facing the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and set it up right here. Make sure the light works. Let's put everything back together. Let's check it out. Both lights are working. Looks so nice. Looks so nice. Also from factory, the Night Classics. They have the tinted headlight. So the exterior is still clear the interior everything's like blacked out inside so it looks it makes it look very aggressive we're gonna put this cover back turn it clockwise just lock it and we're gonna put everything back together just the way we took it out all right guys headlights are done what we're gonna do next is put the grill back but before we do that make sure you have both your screws this one and this one tight on this headlight same thing for the other side, bottom one, top one. Make sure you have your little tabs closed and your little pockets on both sides. And now we're gonna go ahead, put the grill back on the Ram 1500. All right, finally got a cameraman for uh, the uh, installation for the grill. Pretty easy, I'm just gonna line it up. So this clip has to go in here. Same thing for the other side, that clip has to go at the bottom one. This clip into here, this clip over here, and then we just have to line up our holes where the screws go. So we're gonna lift this up a bit. Just line up the screw holes first. Okay, once they look lined up, this one's not lined up. Gonna line that one up. Make sure that one's good too. That one's good. Now what we're gonna do is give it a little lock over there. A little kick over here. And that's it. Our grill is locked. Now the screws we took off, we're just going to put them back, tying them down, and yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Put all your clips close back where they go, and yeah, it's pretty easy. Like I said, it takes another five minutes to take the grill off, and uh, super easy to do. And yeah, that's it. And for your coolant reservoir, don't forget about that. This will move with this, make sure this is closed. Coolant reservoir, very important. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Everything's put back together. Truck looks good. The nice bright blue lights. Looking deadly.